Marvelous Bible lesson is taken from Isaiah 44th chapter verses from 1 to 18th verse Yet now hear O Jacob my servant and Israel whom I have chosen thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb which will help thee fear not O Jacob my servant and thou Jesurun whom i have chosen for i will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground i will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring and they shall spring up as among the grass as willow willows by the water courses one shall say i am the lords and another i another shall call himself by the name of jacob and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the lord and surname himself by the name of israel thus said the lord the king of israel and his redeemer the lord of hosts I am the first and I am the last and beside me there is no god and who as I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come let them shew unto them fear ye not neither be afraid have not i told thee from that time and have declared it ye are even my witnesses is there a god beside me a there is no god i know not any they that make a graven image are all of them vanity and their delectable things shall not profit and they are their own witnesses they see not nor know that they may be ashamed who hath formed a god or molten a graven image that is profitable for nothing behold all his fellows shall be ashamed and the workmen they are of men let them all be gathered together let them stand up it they shall fear and they shall be ashamed together the smith with the tongs both work it in the coals and fashion it it with hammers and work it it with the strength of his arms ye he is hungry and his strength faileth he drinketh no water and is faint the carpenter stretcheth out his rule he marketh it out with a line he fitteth it with planes and he marketh it out with the compass and make it it after the figure of a man according to the beauty of a man that it may remain in the house he hewed him down cedars and take it the cypress and the oak which he strengthened for himself among the trees of the forest he planted an ash and the rain doth nourish it then shall it be for a man to burn for he will take thereof and warm himself ye he kindleth it and bake it bread ye he make it a god and worship it it he make it it a graven image and fall it down there too
he burneth part thereof in the fire with part thereof he eateth flesh he roasteth roast and is satisfied a he vomit himself and saith aha i am warm i have seen the fire and the residue thereof he maketh a god even his graven image he falleth down unto it and worshipeth it and prayeth unto it and saith deliver me for the what my god they have not known nor understood for he hath shut their eyes that they cannot see and their hearts they, that they cannot understand here ends the bible lesson